This is uh, kind of dumbfounded me for a while now. I'm growing some plants here. This is uh, stevia. It's a natural sugar substitute plant. This is a Roma tomato that came from a seed from Walmart. This is a little pine tree. This is a big stevia plant. If you take these leaves and you chew on them, they, mm, they taste like sugar. They're delicious. And if you take a mint leaf, it almost tastes like sweet bubble gum. Not bubble gum, but spearmint gum. There's something that's been bothering me for a while. This is more stevia, more stevia. All these plants are growing. But if I take the seeds from a Walmart plant, like this Roma tomato, and plant it, it dies. This is not from overwatering or over fertilizing. It gets to a point where it makes one fruit and it automatically dies. I think this is some kind of GMO Franken plant and I'd urge all you people out there to get some heirloom seeds because this stuff in the store yeah, it just doesn't work right. It gets up to a certain point and I think some farmer told me at a certain point in development it needs another chemical or it dies. Here's another one. Roma tomato. It's on its way out. One piece of fruit and it's curling up and it's dying. I've seen this happen year after year with seeds I get from fruit that I buy from the grocery stores. You can no longer just buy a fruit, throw the seed in the ground and expect it to grow. Um, a lot of these plants they're buggy. I don't know what it is. But these tomatoes like have a death gene in them. They won't produce. Anyhow, I'd highly recommend you grow stevia. It's an all natural sweetener. You can put about four or five leaves in a cup of coffee and it tastes like uh, two or three teaspoons of sugar. Really, really cool plant for artificial sweetener. Anyhow, that's my report on GMO Franken plants.